for the step one express project, uh, which focused on argumentative writing, we looked at how feedback from teachers can encourage students' uptake. So students' uptake meaning students' engagement with feedback. Our enhanced feedback practice, that means what we did. What we did were we tried to consider minimal conditions or minimal pieces of writing so that the students didn't need to think so much instead of like writing the entire essay. That's what the first point means. Prioritize certain criteria of good writing. That means in the rubric, we zoom in on certain things. We don't apply the whole rubric on the piece. And the third thing is we use a clear structure or clear framework for argumentative writing. So there are essentially three steps. Firstly, when we uh, start the thing, you can see number one, before feedback is given, we go through certain things in the rubrics and then we teach them the argumentative writing framework, then we get students to write a paragraph. So the second step was after we collect their work and then we give the feedback. And for at this point, number two, the teacher, we focus on how well the students have applied the whatever we taught in round one. And we identify the gaps based on those things we focus on in the rubric so that uh, the students know how they can move on. At this point, we also apply a survey. Data will show you some results. And so they redo, they recreate the draft. So that's number three. So after feedback is given, students act on it. They refine their earlier piece of writing and then write another paragraph. And then here is when uh, we apply another survey. Okay, so let us just show you some issues that surfaced in draft one of the scripts after we, we went through step one. We saw a lot of language accuracy errors, some issues in argument, logic, lack of paragraph development, and then some irrelevant content. So this set one, yeah? So um, bearing in mind that the intervention was we focused on certain things, and we gave them very clear feedback based on those rubric. So just show you the next few slides, some samples on um, how the students progress. So the picture on the left is the student's uh, first draft where issues surface and then you can see the annotations uh, that the teacher made uh, which is based on uh, what we went through in terms of the rubric. For example, we're very clear, right? We want to reduce their cognitive load. So we focus on certain things only, for example, the development of the paragraph so that the student can know, okay, that's my issue and then I work on it. So you can see the improvement on the right. That's the second draft. So if I look at the next slide, another student yeah, shows that the teacher on the left gave a very specific feedback to not tell her what's wrong with the thing, but rather prompt her to rethink how she might develop the paragraph in terms of logic. So uh, you see that on the yellow box there, we have this survey question, right? I will try to address every comment that my teacher made. So I'll, later I'll show you the survey questions. Because from the survey questions, we realize that the students were engaging with the feedback and that's why we can see some evidence of improvement and that using the feedback to do something about their work. So in the next slide, uh, this is another example to show um, the teacher guiding the student to show that her appeal is not very clear because that was one of the issues we wanted to address in this uh, unit. And so later on, the student is trying to improve the piece which is uh, highlighted in the red box. In the next sample, which is another example where, because one of the issues was content, right? So the teacher is trying to highlight that maybe you can be a bit clearer about what you mean with this topic. And so the student refined the paragraph accordingly, which is highlighted in red. The last sample shows it's related to content. So the teacher I have highlighted on the left something about some content related remarks on streaming and then giving a clear development. So the student tried to improve it, which is on the right. So just want to refresh on uh, what intervention we use, right, which is rubrics. All of us do that, but for this round, we just focus on very specific criteria inside the rubrics, and then that translated to the very specific feedback about those portions so the student could be more focused. And of course, uh, the structure for argumentative writing. After we looked at draft two, the observable improvements in draft two were that the students improved in their language accuracy, 
course, the logical arguments were there, and then the appeal development was clearer, and of course, the content was more relevant. So just now, I said that we'll show you some uh, survey questions, right? Where we applied the survey at after they did their first draft and got their feedback, and then after the second draft and the feedback. Yeah. So these twelve questions, there are actually thirty-seven, but we just going to show you a few, and we look at the questions which measured students' engagement with teacher feedback, their motivation, their desire to want to work with the feedback, and then their improvement. In their scores after they engage with the feedback in the box, these are some of the questions about whether they want to go through my teacher's comments, whether they'll do things differently, whether they will think about feedback, and uh, whether they will even rework their assignments based on feedback received. So initially, the pink one was when we first applied the survey, and uh, it looked. Quite sad, right? The reason for sixty six is because we applied this project on two classes, so we were quite encouraged that there's an improvement in the way they interact with the feedback uh, after we we applied those interventions. So the next slide um shows another two more questions about their motivation to work through the feedback they receive, or whether uh, they do bother to understand our feedback or not. So number six is more encouraging. Whether they spend a lot of time or not is still quite low. But I think because they're thrown off by spend a lot of time, right? They may not. So the next um set of comments quite heartened to see number three. I will make sure I understand my mistakes. Okay, that's a high. It it shows that they want to bother. But for number ten, I'll ask my teacher to explain comments I do not understand. It's curious why they don't really want to interact with the teacher at this point, but they are trying to do something on their own. Because you see, like number eleven, I'll try to address every comment that my teacher made. So it's like some level of independence is quite evident. Some reflections and learning is that this enhanced feedback pedagogy did improve students' uptake of feedback. So uptake of feedback means the engagement and then willing to do something about. About it, they were more invested in their work. We felt that we should continue this process of being targeted, so that the learning and the transference can be sharper for the students. Mm-hmm.